All right. Um, welcome back to um, another video of our tutorials. So in this video, I'm going to be talking to us about comments. So um, comments are very important in every programming language. Every programming language has made the provision for you to be able to label your code practically, for you to make self-explanatory notes. Um, a lot of frameworks are out there that you can use for front-end and back-end stuff. That's um, the documentation. We have special web pages like that they used to document all these frameworks. But even inside the, let me say, the starter codes of all these frameworks, we have in uh, in code comments. So in 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 code uh, documentation or some sort of explanatory notes that you can take in your code. It is very important for you to have. Well, it is not compulsory like. If you don't have comments in your code, that your code won't work. But please, it is good for you to take notes. And not even necessarily for yourself. You might be working in a team and um, everybody needs to work on the same thing. People need to be to know what is happening at every particular instance, or at, at every line of your code. So that way, your code you won't be coding like a barbarian. It is working, yes, but how is it working? So these are so many shalaya that you can... Uh, avoid you can use the Osh to Shalaye because all the Alaye you have done is already in your code. But just get to the point. Um, comments are used to make um, notes in your in your code. So um, let me. So comments in Visual Basic. In Visual Basic, comments are self-explanatory notes to provide detailed information about the code which we wrote in our application. So by using the comment symbol, this is the comment symbol over here. Um, this is supposed to be no, 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 no. Run you on to. So, this comment symbol over here is just the apostrophe. Um, that should be the key before the enter. Um, you know. So, um, so by using the comment um, symbol, we can comment on the code in our Visual Basic programming. The comment symbol will tell the, visual, the VB compiler to ignore the text following it or the comment, basically. So it's a good practice to include comments in your VB code to provide detailed information about the functionality, like what the specific block or line of code can do. And it will be, it will be of great benefit to any other person who examines the code. So um, it is not going to be slowing down your program, and um, it's not going to be affecting the performance, basically. So, okay, let's do a bit of um, exercise here. I want to write a program now. So this program is going to be, you can see what I have over here on top of this place. Online DB compiler, code, compile, run, debug, whatever. Write your code in this editor, run, press run. You can see if you're coming to this, um, this um, editor for the first time, you don't even know how to run your code. If you can't um, pinpoint this uh, button over here, but the code is telling you that this is what you should do to execute the uh, code you are going to be writing here. So you can see, even they, they've, they've written a comment here for us. But, um, and like I told us, please, every code you are going to be writing is within the main sub, please. It's within the main sub. So uh, let us write a program that will accept two numbers from the user. It will add the two numbers together, then display the result of the addition. So at least uh, I want to use it to explain the uh, comments. So now, moving forward, um, don't forget, according to our um, note over here, this is the, um, the symbol for the comment. So come here and start the first comment. So this is a program to um, add two numbers entered by the user. Okay, so after this, I can say step one, declare your um, variable declaration. Like I said, this is not going to affect the performance or the efficiency of the program. So these lines of code, this, 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 then lines eight and nine, uh, eight and ten rather, they will be ignored while the VB compiler is compiling the code. So 
it is not affecting the code in any way. It's just you trying to make notes in your own code, basically. So step one, variables declaration. Now, what variables are we going to be needing? We are going to be needing a variable to, um, to accept the first operand, a variable to accept the second operand. We don't necessarily need to store the result in another variable. We might decide to store the result in another variable or add and just um, display it right away. But well, I'll do the two of them here so we can uh, see. So variables declaration. Um, okay. Now I can say the x comma y as integer. Okay. Let me use float this time. Let me use um, float. Yes. Or double float, double or decimal will work. So I've been using integer sense. So now I've declared my variables basically. Step two. Accept user input. Okay. So accepting the user input, like I told you. Um, you can just do something like um, give the user some prompt, some sort of prompt. Or um, well, let us do that. Well, let's just collect our variables and grow our console dot read line. So why equals to console dot read line? Okay. So. Um, after accepting the user input, now we are going to be, okay, let's make the program more decent. And um, let's, let's accept the, the um, so basically X and Y are going to be the, um, the operand, Y, Z is going to be the result. So step three. Calculate the sum. So you can say z equals to x plus y. Then after doing this, um, step four, show the output. Okay. So basically, showing the output to be console dot right line and what am i writing z basically so don't forget this is a float and a float a float i'm adding a float to a float and it's giving me a float as well that i'm storing in a float then i'll output everything when i'm done so around this program um okay let me use decimal Sorry. Okay, so decimal um, 4.5, then 3.222. You see, it's working fine. Um, I don't know why the float isn't working. Perhaps, okay, I think the float is available in VB.net. So, okay, it should be decimal then. So, um, decimal. Then another one that what that will work very fine is double D O U B L E. Yes, double will work as well. So let me run this program using double. And then four point seven and two point three. Okay, it's working fine. It's working fine. So um so um, um so okay, this is working fine. Team X, Y, and Z as double. Okay. So basically you can see how the comments works now. You can see how the comment the comment is working. So I was I was saying something like um, instead of storing the output in a variable, we can just do the computation directly without having to store the output in a variable. So let's go and do that. 
So this is X plus Y over here. Copy this, and then instead of writing Z to the line, let me just write X plus Y to the line. I'm trying to make a point here. So um, um, let me say um, 10.4, and this is zero, no, 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 zero. Two, five. Um, okay, there's something wrong with this. Okay, I didn't add the zero at the beginning, so that is wrong. Um, 10.7, Okay, okay, okay. So you can see, um, instead of me adding it, saving the sum, into a variable, then basically using Z here, yeah. I'm just giving X plus Y directly without having to create a Z over here and it's working fine. That is to tell you that the right line function can be used to output a variable, a value and an expression. So for example, if I should put in five over here and I run this, it is going to be writing five to this line and if I should bring in Z over here, it is going to be um, writing X plus Y, basically. Then that is me giving it um, a, a, val a variable. So an expression is X plus Y directly. So you get the gist now. We can output a variable, a value, and an expression. So um, I think that will be all for this video. So I'll see you in the next one. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask and um, bye for now.